Welcome to Mommy's Chef and my name is Heidi and I wanted to bring to you guys some prep meals ideas because the school year has begun and with that comes practices, games and so on. My daughter's in high school, my son's in junior highs. It was a really hectic first week. So this weekend I really wanted to plant some breakfasts to get them out the door, just pop it in the micro or whatever and just give it to them, send them out because I really want to get ready and look presentable before I leave the house. That's big for me. But whatever, you do you, you know what I mean? Okay, so I really want to keep this video short and YouTube's not going to like that. I'm going to try to edit it really short because we are pressed for time these days and I really want to give to you guys. So if you if you can, try to share it, share it with moms, dads, whoever's trying to get this life going and kids going. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the voiceover. I'm also gonna give you two dinner recipes and they're gonna be like kind of leftovers of what I'm doing this weekend, but it's not gonna be the same thing because who wants to eat the same thing on the weekday? No, I don't. I like variety, you know? Okay, now I'll really see you in the voiceover. Making some breakfast burritos. So I'm gonna take some sausage, some bell peppers, and one onion. I'm gonna add some olive oil and start sauteing that sausage. You can use chorizo if you like. I just found that one at Costco, so I figured I'd try it. My kids weren't a fan, so get chorizo. <laughs> add your bell peppers and onions. I also started sauteing one onion in a pot for my soup, and um, I added some water, and I'm gonna add some like uh, chicken stock concentrate if you have chicken stock just add chicken stock i didn't have any i think i did and then i added some garlic to my sausage and then for my potato soup i added this giant potatoes and look they're huge so add it to my water and that's going to make my soup so i'm going to add, add salt and pepper to that and then for my burritos i'm going to add my eggs and i added a total of 10 eggs so it seems a lot but i'm going to freeze all these burritos so i'm going to serve some for my son this morning because he loves burritos on the weekend so it's his thing warm out those tortillas to make them more pliable these tortillas were kind of small but whatever whatever you have around you gotta make do with what you got he adored them he was so happy eating them <laughs> so make a little i don't know setup and then i wrap them in parchment paper and then also uh, write down what they are <laughs> and date them because then you won't know what you're making okay let's move on to my roux for my soup so this is an easy way to make a roux so you just take softened butter equal parts so i'm going to take four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour and then i'm going to add my broccoli to the potatoes until they're just like a little bit blanched like a little bit green and then i'm gonna add my roux to thicken things up so in goes my roux and i'm gonna add actually all of it because i thought it was gonna be it wasn't gonna be enough but i like it thick everybody likes <laughs> their food luscious right so i added the whole thing and then i didn't have any um what to call cheese grated cheese so i just added like that and i added half a cup of cream and this is um a cashew cream that i make myself but if you can want you can just add cream or you can add uh, milk whatever you have around having a little picnic with the soup how's the soup little guy the greatest thing i ever had really <laughs> to my what am i making oh the little, I'm gonna make a lasagna in a pasta and meat sauce. So the lasagna is gonna go in the freezer and this is gonna, we're gonna eat it today actually. So I'm gonna take the ground beef, one teaspoon of basil, uh, two teaspoons of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, one of salt and uh, one of pepper. And I'm gonna grind that. You can adjust the seasoning for whatever you like. I like a lot of basil. And I'm gonna have two teaspoons of paprika. Paprika makes everything sweet. And since I didn't have enough peppers, so I'm gonna take one and a half onions and one pepper and one he whole head of garlic. Like about four tablespoons of tomato paste. And I'm gonna get Rouse tomato sauce, rails, whatever it's called. Oh my God, this is like heaven in a bottle. I love the sauce. I, I used to make my own, but now I was like, why even bother? It's delicious. So I did two. So this is how I make my lasagna. I just add the, this is how my mom makes it, so don't come for me. <laughs> and this is the way I like it. Everybody likes it this way. 
So I don't add ricotta cheese. I just add the meat and the thing. And then I add a bechamel sauce on top. So I add a little bit of water because I don't cook my pasta and it's fine. So this pot is a little bit big. So I add a little bit more water so things cook evenly. And I'm going to freeze this puppy. So whenever I'm busy, I'm just going to pop this guy in the oven. And that's the rest of the meat. I'm going to cook it with my pasta for that night. It was delicious. So I can't wait to try that. Um... The lasagna. So I'm making my bechamel sauce. So I'm gonna take four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour, and I'm gonna whisk this together until it smells like bread. If you've never made like a bechamel sauce, like for you to make like a what is that called macaroni and cheese and so on, you want that rawness to cook away before you add your milk, because once once you add your milk, it will not cook. So I added four cups of milk and look at that sauce. Oh my goodness. So I added some Parmigiano Reggiano on top. You can also add uh, mozzarella or whatever. Uh, my mom adds mozzarella. I don't. <laughs> I just add a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. I actually mix it in with the sauce, but I was out. So I'm just going to buy it and I'm going to add it when I actually make my lasagna, put it in the oven. So right now it's in the freezer. So that was my pasta that I had with a meat sauce. So now we're gonna make some peaches and cream oatmeal. And I'm gonna have this around in the fridge all week, just in case the kids don't want burritos. So, and whenever it's cold, cause we live by the beach and it's always so cold in the morning. So I think it just warms them up when they have that, especially with that cinnamon. I'm gonna link down the recipe cause I uh, have another video that has this recipe and it's creamy and delicious. I made it with cashew milk. You can use regular milk or cream, whatever you like. Added some honey on top. I was trying out the Zartitian uh, bread recipe. It did not work out. I didn't like it. Okay, let's move on to my salad. So I have some red onion. I cooked these beans in my Instant Pot. You can use canned beans. Some cilantro and some corn. And I added some lime juice, which she was incorporating. So <laughs> what I did, I added my corn i put it like kind of roasted a little bit added some salsa verde and to this verde <laughs> and avocado and i put this in the fridge because i'm always hungry and, and so it keeps me from cheating so now let's move on to our chicken oh my god this is going fast so i was gonna add all those spices but i didn't i found this spice mix from trader joe's it's a citrusy garlic oh my goodness if you haven't tried this you have to try it it's delicious so all it is it's cumin garlic where was i was gonna put this anyways cumin garlic pepper actually it doesn't have cumin but i have a cumin a garlic pepper and it's citrusy so i didn't have to add lemon i just all i added was just um uh, olive oil and that sauce and I just popped it in the oven until it was crispy. Oh, make sure you really coat it both sides. So I have some onions and red bell peppers in here. I popped it in the oven. I served it over some tortillas and then I added with my salsa uh, salad, bean salad that I made for my backup fridge salad that I'm, I always have around. So now we're gonna make another breakfast and this is also gonna be a snack for the kids. So I'm gonna take four bananas and this is how you mash bananas easily. So you just put them in your mixer and you smash away. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add one and a half cups of sugar and then what else? Uh, two softened sticks of butter, softened butter. And then I'm gonna take four eggs. I know I only see three, but it's actually a full. And to that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. Actually, I added more like three. And the zest of one lemon. I'm also gonna juice this lemon too to make some buttermilk. And add one cup of milk into the cup, not like me. <laughs> add it. I'm making buttermilk because it tastes, it brings up your baked goods to a different level. And also takes us a little bit of lemon juice. So add that to your mixture. And I'm gonna take five cups of flour. And to that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda and one of baking powder. Make sure you mix that together before you add it to your batter. Mix that only for like a couple seconds. I would say just like four, just to combine everything. And then we're gonna add two cups of chocolate chips. These are amazing. You're gonna love me for these. The next day I did some with blueberries. Oh my goodness, I need to share that recipe with you guys. You guys are gonna fall in love. So let's give those to the kids after school. <laughs> How are the muffins? They were delicious. Oh, I'm glad you like those. So, stick them in the lunch pail. After school snack, she has golf right now. And she's going to roll because she ate the muffin. And it's super healthy. <laughs> How many did you eat today? Three.
<laughs> Good girl. <laughs> She's gonna burn it off right now. So my fridge is loaded with my bean salad. I made some artichokes for them. Uh, there's my soup, my oatmeal's in the back. The burritos are in the freezer, so is my lasagna. And I have one more meal to go. I woke up early. I gave this bread another try. I need to take the recipe for you guys, so I, I wasn't gonna share until it's absolutely perfect. I'm gonna share some bagels that I made, white bread. You guys are gonna love those recipes. They're absolutely delicious. Look at that hippo, he's adorable. The kids were so happy when they woke up and saw this. I had a little bit of that chicken. You want some soup? Yeah. Go sit down. Oh, where's he going? And these are the blueberry muffins. My husband was going insane over these. Seriously, I need to share the recipe with you guys. You guys are gonna love it. The rest of the batter, I just threw it in a pancake pan and I make emoji pancakes. My son was in love with these and you don't even have to add syrup. You just pop them in the freezer and just pop them in the toaster in the morning up and enjoy. They were blueberry banana, absolutely delish. And here's my uh nachos so my kids could not believe they were having chips and like cheese for dinner <laughs> this is the first time they've had nachos because they were so popular on tiktok right now so i figure why not let them enjoy i apologize for the lighting but it was like a billion degrees in la right now thank you guys so much for watching try to subscribe if you haven't done so yet and i'll see you guys next time bye guys oh try to like the video too comment engage Say hello to me. <laughs> Bye. Who <laughs> cares? <laughs> I don't curse. So much. So how are the mom? <laughs> 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 oh wait, let's turn off this. <laughs>